Today we're making tuna salad sandwiches. My mom made this for me when I was a kid and now I'm making it for you. Let's get started. First things first, we need six cans of tuna. I picked up this 12 pack from Sam's Club. Tuna in a can usually comes in either water or oil. Choose whichever one you prefer. I prefer water. Open and drain all six cans. We don't need any of the liquids. To a big mixing bowl, add in all of the tuna. Now you might find the next ingredient kind of gross, but trust me, after we add in all the other ingredients, you're not even gonna notice it. Yes, we're adding in sardines. If you're like me, you're probably dry heaving in your seat right now. Not everybody likes sardines and hey I don't either but these have so many great health benefits it's almost worth it plus we're only adding in half of this can anyway so it'll be fine that being said we are gonna drain this even though it says it's boneless we're gonna take a quick scan through each piece just in case see here I've spotted a tiny sliver it's no big deal just discard it before we add this to our bowl we're gonna chop this up as finely as we can I don't want any big chunkies and you probably don't either <laughs> I promise you're not even gonna know it's in there I mean you'll know it's been added in because you put it in but I assure you anybody you feed this to is is gonna have a clue there's a few sardines inside. Add that to the bowl. Next, we're gonna add in two cans of water chestnuts. You can usually find these in the ethnic food aisle at your local Walmart. Sometimes they have whole or sliced water chestnuts. It doesn't matter what kind you get because we're just gonna end up draining them and dicing them up anyway. You want nice small chunks. That looks good. Add those to the bowl. Next, we're gonna add in one whole white onion, also diced up fairly small. Toss those in the bowl. Next, we need to add one large jalapeno. Normally, they're a lot bigger than this. This one is pretty teeny, so I'm gonna add in two. Chop off the tops, slice them in half, and since we don't want flaming hot tuna salad sandwiches, yuck, <laughs> we're gonna take out the seeds in the membrane. Dice up your jalapenos fairly thin, add them to the bowl. I'm not a huge cilantro fan, but for some reason, I really like it in this recipe. I don't know why this recipe is the exception, but it is. We're gonna pick through this and remove any thick stems or stems with barely any leaves on them. Technically, they're fine to eat, but I barely like this stuff as it is, so I'm just gonna remove most of the chunky stalks. Once you're satisfied, give them a rough chop. Into the bowl they go, and that's enough chopping for today. <laughs> add in one teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. All that's left is to add in some mayo. We need one cup of mayo. Give everything a good mix. This is where you decide if you want to add in a little bit more or not. I think one heaping spoonful more will do the trick. If you're not a big fan of mayo, I would recommend trying veganaise. It's egg-free and actually delicious. Back when my mom used to make this for me, she used that instead of regular mayo, and it's just as good if not better tasting. I've only ever tried the grapeseed veganaise, so keep that in mind as it's the only flavor I'm recommending. You probably won't find that at Walmart, but any health food store should have it. I think Publix and Vons have it. Maybe Albertsons, if Albertsons is still around. This is also really good the next day once all of those flavors have had a chance to party together in the fridge overnight. But we're hungry and we don't want to wait that long. Let's make a sandwich. I just got this loaf and I've already lost that little plastic tie thingy. We'll be a savage. Spin the bread and tuck it under. We'll find it later. Do you put mayo on your slices? I do. A couple spoonfuls of our special tuna salad. Pat that on. Slap on that lid. Give it the old slice in half. What do you think? Would you eat it? Well, here's an ingredients list if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.